Hi, this is Andre Shero, and today I'll be showing you how to import a source file in PIM Server and Desktop. So the key things you want to target here in this specific video article is how to configure the import mapping, how to run the import, and then finally we want to check the status of it. So here we have the client pulled up and we want to go to the import perspective and we want to start a new project and the key thing here is to make sure that we load a source file to base this particular mapping off of and when this you see this pop up this is the settings for the particular data source that is coming in. So here is the header and row information, and here is the character set. And you want to make sure that the character set is parallel to the information that's coming in, so you don't see any unidentified characters or missing information. And verify that all this information look correct. Press OK. Then OK. So once you click this extension, you'll see all the data that's in this particular source file. And now we need to map this information to the structure tree in PIM. So you want to make sure that you find the correct information so it won't be rejected. In this case, item number to item number. Now we have successfully mapped all the data to PIM. We can actually run this import. Here, this is just a scheduled import. We can choose a particular date or we can run it as soon as possible. Here, this is the catalog in which we want to actually import the data to. So we can load the data directly to the master catalog or to a specified supplier catalog. Here is a group assignment. We don't have any in this case. Import mode, we'll keep this as import or update all objects. And error mode, this is just a tolerance on which you want to base your import process off of. If you want it to reject certain information or you want the system to allow this to go as far as it can. So now we can check process overview. For the status and here you can see where the import process ran complete without any errors and you can see the all the items that were actually imported into the specified supplier catalog and that concludes this video article so for more information please log on to mysupport.informatica.com, check under KBs, or you can check the user guide for this particular version. We'd love to hear your feedback. Contact us on supportvideos at informatica.com and via Twitter, Flash, and for support. Thank you.